Hello everyone, Canon Lowy here, back with more Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. And to my surprise, um, the Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet had gotten a new update in April of 2019 here. And how I noticed that is that by looking at the game version, I would noticed that it had changed from 1.6.1 to 1.7. So I I looked up what the version changes were, and they added quite a good number of stuff, especially for, uh, as far as I'm aware, a free update for the most part, uh, unless you need DLC 4 for it. Uh, there's a few things that I'm guessing you probably need DLC 4 for. Um, but aside from that, um, just briefly run down what has changed as as far as I'm aware is that they added new outfits which will go to the lobby in just a moment to look at all of those and I am wearing one of those newer outfits they also added a new kinda uh, it's I'm guessing it's called hardcore it says HC so I'm guessing that means hardcore uh, supposed to be co-op mission that is for um, those th who are max level, and they increased the max level from 275 to 285, which I was like 65 levels off anyway. And with uh, with, with that co-op mission, you can get uh, unique weapons, but it sounds like they're they might just be reskins of guns you can already have because it was like for an example you can get the long stroke already it's a large caliber ha handgun it's kind of like a desert eagle in a sense and it said like long stroke type Z and then some other ones that were of type Z and it's like uh, what's the difference <laughs> anyway Besides that, it also said that um, there were two viewable cutscenes via the bed, which I'm guessing means this. And it said it was for one was for um, Yui and Itsuki. And as far as I can tell, the friendship event which is where you just walk around town with Yui is the only one that shows up so I'm not exactly sure what they mean by that and I haven't done anything with Itsuki yet um, that's probably actually gonna be in one of the next parts here so besides that let me think um, that was pretty much the majority of it Anyway, so let's go to the lobby to view all of the various outfits that they have. And all of them are available for medals. I think it was probably like 150 of each type. So here are the various outfits. So basically what the, or at least according to the notes, what it said was that they came out with three, three outfits and then they added a variation for each one, so six in total. And they're supposed to be based off of outfits that are from like the the smith ones are from like Elizabeth being in GGO in the anime and then this one's Silka and then this one's Klein and I haven't watched any of season 3 of Sword Art Online so I can only assume that is where these outfits are from but I do quite like the look of them so here is the Soul of Smith, I mean Heart of Smith, excuse me. So 
So pretty much the Heart of Smith is just the same except with more armor plates, I guess. So I mean, they're, they're not big variations, but I felt like that they were enough that they did feel like there is value in each one. So the Tamer suit. And then the Tamer outfit. So for these, it's just kind of like one doesn't have the skirt, I guess. And then the Howling Wolf. And then it just looks like the Howling Wolf has um, that scarf or collar there, and then a shoulder pad, and then one without it. So there's that. And then also they added uh, these three accessories. So just another variation of an officer cap, soldier goggles and then another type of beret. So, I, I quite like the, the outfits that they, that they added. So besides that, there was another thing that I did notice and I, that they added, and I was kind of surprised by this. So going back to the home here, they actually added a movie in the gallery, I guess to have as kind of an intro to those hardcore uh, co-op quests. So when we go to the extended gallery, so when I scroll down here, it says HC Co-op Special Invitation, and I have I haven't seen any. <laughs> I I haven't seen this cutscene. I was specifically waiting for to see my reaction, obviously for a blind playthrough so let's go on and watch it I mean it has Levere in it so <laughs> let's see how it goes It's, it's the Magica boss again. Hmm. Well, seeing Kareha there, it kind of looked like... Yeah, there there's the, the clones. So I'm guessing that that is one of the super bosses. Well, it definitely looks promising, I can say that much. I honestly have really no idea if I would end up being able to beat one of those or not, probably not. Um, and I'm, and based on that cutscene, I'm really, I'm really curious to see if, if Levere is on your side or as, or is she an enemy or is she just kind of there just be like show, showing off what the, what the Flugel has to offer. Yeah, not bad. So with that, another thing I wanted to do was that I actually have the materials to finish Elizabeth's quest. So let's turn those ah. on. Do not give materials. So, yeah. so the materials that she wants 
are the plated armor and plated mantles. And you get them at the Demon Cave boss at the end of DLC 2. Or if you go in normal mode and just farm it that way. Um, they are the uh, Hakai Brothers or, or Malachi Brothers. I think, from, where is Premier's request here? Ma Makai? E either way, it's the it's the ninja bosses that you get the, those from. Ah. So let's turn in the materials. Here you go. Why, thank you. Okay, transforming accessories. It says transforming an accessory allows you to switch all of its memory chips with another accessory. Note that the rarity of either accessory may change in the process. Use transformation to customize your favorite accessories with the memory chips of your choosing. So basically, according to this description, you switch around um, similar to the memory chip editor, except if you don't have this quest done, you basically have to make one more step in in that process. So this is just a way of doing it faster. Alright. Says you can you can use materials to enhance, enhance the effects of an accessory's memory chips as part of part of the enchant enhancement process you will need enhancement formulas so make sure to gather as many formulas as you can hmm interesting formulas huh oh here it is So increase one. Hmm. So if I want to increase the vite only by one, huh? Well, I have it locked. Well, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm not 100% sure how many times you can actually enhance something. Because I'm... <laughs> I'm guessing it's not unlimited. If if it was, that would be that would be quite ridiculous. Um, at the same time, from the look of it, when you do try to enhance something, you don't actually gain a whole lot of benefit each time you enhance it. So it is possible that they probably made it so that there is a cap, but at the same time you have to put a ton of materials into it in order to make it that cap. Um, one disappointing thing was that I noticed is that since transforming ones you just whip the memory chips, you can't really pick and choose the exact mods that you want. Which is, in a sense, that makes sense, but at the same time, that, that's kind of annoying because at this, because then, if I want something with the perfect stats that I want, I have to rely on item drops, and well, I don't know. Yeah, if I do have, if I do find ex accessories later on, avoid instant death with 10% or more, that's really good. 
Um, that is definitely interesting. All right. So with that, one other thing that I for sure wanted to do. When I, when I got DLC 4, when, when that came out, Argo has an offer for information. So when we, go to buy, when we go to buy information, we have the three different colognes. One that sets accessories to legendary drop rate. Um, it makes guns have the maximum strength, and then the memory chip one, I'm not 100% sure uh, what that does, because averaging out the attach rates of memory chips. I'm not 100% sure what that means. But this last one, Hidden Event Intel, says I'm going to keep the contents a surprise until you pay. <laughs> when, when, when I first look at this, I, I, I did have a good laugh on it because I just felt like as soon as you... Uh, forked over the 50 million credits that she would <laughs> she wouldn't have anything or, or something but we're gonna find out what it is um hey Argo uh where was that hidden event again <laughs> Okay. Wow, did she... Did she seriously just rip me off of 50 million credits? Um, Okay, um, do we need to go into our house first? I'm really confused. Because maybe we need to talk to her in our home here to get some answers. Um,. Well, <laughs> um, I'm guessing it doesn't appear in the terminal, because that wouldn't really make sense. Okay. Yeah, I, w <laughs> I was making a joke that she would rip me off, but it... Um, from the look of it, it, it certainly looks like she did. Unless I'm really missing something. Well, I'll look around just a tad bit more, but... I... <laughs> okay... 
Okay, oh well. Doesn't really look like there's anything new in here. And that's from Elizabeth's quest. Okay. Yeah, it <laughs> it it l legitimately looks like Argo ripped me off. <laughs> unless unless I needed to progress in the dissonance to the Nexus first. I mean, that is entirely possible. Well, <laughs> Wow! Okay! Well, I, I think with, um... Yeah, because there wasn't... Anything, like, in here or something, was there? No. Yeah, <laughs> I I really don't know what to think about that. Um, the only thing I can think of is that I must need to progress in the White Frontier um, to unlock SBC Abend. I'm not sure if that is like... I'm guessing it's an entirely new town that you just need to do the... progress through the DLC to... Um, be able to go there, so it is entirely possible that um, whatever I just purchased, I need to go there first, and then in order to progress through <laughs> the dissonance of the Nexus, I need to. Well, I would like to get the true ending first. So, <laughs> all right. But with that, um, I just wanted to make an episode dedicated to uh, a little bit of cleaning up and um, and the April update patch notes. So with that, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.